Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Company Rose 1 replay, spawn on the right side as the Veramok player with Green Beret. Spawn on the bottom left side as, or just left side as the uh, US player with BK Mod Test. I could have sworn I cast this replay, but who was the one who sent it to me? Was it Green Beret? Or was it BK Mod Test? One of these two players sent this, uh, recommended I should cast this replay. This is the final game of a best of five tournament, was it? And now I'm casting it. Well, here we go. We do have some Volks Grandiers. This is the, uh, this is the final game. If the final game is a good game, we have the good luck, have fun already. So let's have fun. Hopefully. Do have pine uh, engineers captured the north side? Fuel point being captured while the pioneers go towards the center. I need to perhaps secure the center of the map. We may see an early MG42 to put in the center of the building, but then again, this is not computers too. Over here, we got a jeep rush on four, which is a good item versus these pioneers. Nothing else being deployed just yet. Just needs more manpower. Jeep trying to patrol out, trying to hunt down the pioneers, but knows that no thing is capturing up the left side. He's going straight down the center, eyeing to use the roads for maximum speed, and we'll run Box into the Volks Grandier. Or maybe not run into them. Maybe run into them now. No, not run into them. We'll run into the pioneer. And he will capture the point, and he's going to stick to... Nope, he's not going to stick to heavy cover. Volks Grandier designed to capture the point, so it looks like he's just trying to avoid it for the time being. No point of fighting it, but he could just avoid it. We'll spot the Volks Grandier there. And Pioneers are going to be dissuading the uh, Jeep from gauging the Volks Grandier. Volks Grenadiers here. Second Volks Grandier have been deployed on out. Those of Volks Grandier have deployed out some wire here. No wires been deployed there, and the engineers are here. So the engineers will cross the river. Of here, pioneers versus engineers. Both of them are dancing around a little bit. Looks like the engineers will win out for three models that are also a bit more expensive. And holy crap, that's a lot of damage without actually losing a model. That Jeep can just roll on up and gun them down. They're that low. Folks yes, Grandier coming to push on forward. If he's able to push away the push away the engineers, he will be able to push the pioneers to capture the point. Doesn't immediately drop a model, very nice. Pioneers coming up forward to try to capture that point. Folks Grandier are deployed out here. We've got the pioneers captured the northern point. And we do have the MG pushing us? its way perhaps into this building here. He has degarrisoned that building and likely heading to the munitions point. Mm, to the VP. Up north, you need any construction? Pioneer's actually going very far north. He's trying to hide. And he had the idea where he's going. Not the f this, he's not the first game, and likely not his last either. So he does get spotted there. Pioneer's getting some good damage in. And we'll be falling on back. Huh, that seems a little bit scenic. Look out over the hills, see stuff going on. Pioneers are being chased on down. And the pioneers are running away. It's amazing how scenic these maps are if you change the camera angle. He's hunting down the pioneer. He will run at the MG42. Oh, sniper, sniper, stealth it, stealth it. He needs that pioneer to be reinforced and stay the uh, sniper. That is the wrong time for a sniper. He does fire a shot there, but and gets gunned down there. The sniper needs a camouflage or just run. He needs a unit uh, to fall on back. He's going to lose a sniper. He, oh, he's going to hop. Yeah, he hops inside the bunker. Good idea. Enemy 
MG42 has that on up and will suppress the rifleman forcing back. Skim MG42 has been deployed, so he has two MGs, one sniper, two volts. He had two pioneers, but one's dead. Landmines being deployed on out. Looks like he's likely out of vision range, but if he hops inside this church, it likely will be losing in territory. Vision range. Jeep up north. Jeep is not repaired. I heard the sniper firing away against these engineers. Riflemen are engaging the Volkser and Deer. I do did hear. Yep, just the MG. Folks, Grandiers to try and engage in the Jeep. We do got the uh, Kriegsberg now available. Being built. Ooh, that's the low health pioneer. That is. Every time I look at that, it's like, oh, heart attack. He needs healing. And yeah, the only way he's going to heal that up if he gets used munitions or get a veterancy upgrade. Both of them not exactly ideal at this point. Though he does have two that? MG for Ooh, good landmine there. But he does have two MGs and the sniper, so getting vet one support units for support weapons is not half bad. Over here, Jeep rolling on around. And he's not oh. Was he going for a uh, Panzerfaust there? Oh, he does get the Panzerfaust off there. He does get the, the uh, cutoff point. So he's not getting any income on the northern flanks, including this point here. Maybe a good idea to push forth the MG. So that's going to be a very, very hard point. It's a very good forward point as well, but he is losing his own sectors down south. We got a four-man rifleman and two-man engineer. Oh, finds another uh, finds another landmine there. The enemy Carry on your fallen brother's struggle. Carrying your fallen brother's struggle. He's gone for terror. He's gotten zeal. I suppose the U.S. player. Fresh Grenadier pushing his way forward. Gonna either capture the lost points. Rifleman squad, front and center. Ready? The VPs are in favor of the Vermont player. Hasn't lost a single VP yet, but that will okay, soon to be changed. Our fuel point is being taken by the enemy. Oh, there's a sniper. Ooh, nice pulling of the MG there. This MG is not inside the garrison. May want to get inside the garrison or inside the church. One of the two. May see a Panzerfaust. No, we do not. MG is far, far too weak. These guys are severely wounded. He needs to do a full retreat at this point. There is a landmine there. Sniper does get spot. He needs to do a full retreat. Here comes a 251. He can use it for body blocking. No, he's going to hop inside. No, he hopped inside the building. He's hopping inside the 251. And that one model will be able to garrison both the MGs. Oh, he's trying to save it. He does get inside of it. And now the MGs are, lo are loaded. Man, one guy doing arming both MGs. Impressive. I love how in uh, Company Goes 2, you can now make it so you can make it the models the same guys who get garrisoned inside. That's something I did with my own mod. GI's ready. Does get fully pinned there. Looks like he does not have sticky bombs researched. And Greyhound has been deployed. Has the armored skirts going for the 50 cal now. He has plenty. Of, oh, I saw plenty of fuel and manpower. And that's the ball game. Construction finished. I see. He must be getting something. He just got uh, spent a whole bunch of fuel. I both thought I saw. Eh, either way, I'm also mistaken. One last point for the fucking hunt. Fire! Observation posts report we are losing a sector. We're in the shit now. 
engineers are following him back. He does spot the two, uh, the M8. MG421 accomplished all too much as well. He in. does have a Krieg's barrack. Pack 30 has been deployed. Oh, wait, target's gone. He must have took out a pioneer somewhere. Jeep is ready. Maybe it was that really, really low health pioneer. Grandier's maybe upgrade of a Panzer Shrek. Pack 38 and the 251 are pushing the way forward. This wire has been cleared. Taking small arms fire here! We're losing a strategic sector. Ooh, and finds a landmine there. Nope, that's a really low health of a pioneer. And the, now! he gets the and pioneer. Fires off shot that that made him force fire the ground over here. I thought I saw a sniper somewhere, but I may have been mistaken. But we may see a Panzer Faust. That Jeep is severely Axis wounded. Hold the initiative. We are losing a munition sector. We have artillery support on the horn. U.S. sniper has been deployed, and we do also have now the off-map Hauser shoot available, so we've got it for infantry versus terror. Hmm, let's see now. Crowds have cut forward supply Could, uh, looks like he's not going for the Rangers, not going for early Rangers, so... He's likely going to go for an M2 or 2. M2 or 2. And he's not fighting any 2-2-2s, two -two for his opponent is not Panzer Elite. Sniper ready for battle. Over the Losing left side, folks, Grandiers, eyeing for heavy cover, eyeing fast push to that point. Nope, getting some wire down. Very nice. He's brought out that wire. Going we'll need to rotate on back that Crowds cover. Sni Vermont sniper still deployed, and U.S. sniper is alive. Zero kills. It has not been spotted yet. Vermont sniper charges on forward. Oh, I could have sworn that I thought the US sniper got sniped right there because he was sector. sort of stacked up there, but he did not. Listen up, Rifleman right all squad. wounded. I did see the triage center has been deployed. The Huns are taking our territory. Level 1 production has been researched, and we've got Roger. the Greyhound rolling around. U.S. Sniper may get spotted. We have no, it does not. Out of supply. He's hunting down that Jeep, and the Jeep is severely wounded. Yeah, it's going to be a dead Jeep. That should be a dead Jeep. Lost a Jeep out there. Looks like Vet 1 Volkswagen Deer have been researched. He may lose that squad. No, he will escape on out there. You, Wehrmacht sniper, civilian wounded. We've got vet point support squads as well. Support. We are losing a sector. Let's switch, we'll switch over to the Wehrmacht player because there's a lot more research uh, items we could see over here. Two command points. We know he's gotten zeal. Don't know about propaganda war. Let's Attention. see. The enemy advances. The mission points have been power. built there. It's cut off at the, at the moment. Oh, here comes the artillery. Off map how to shoot. Does hop inside the a half track, which that round landed in the exact spot that could have been a squad wipe there on the ground here. Grandiers did get hit by that sniper. Does take out that observation post. Hops in the Grenadier once again. We may see a sticky bomb here. Charging on through these squads. Looks like this tells him that he does not have a sticky bomb. Nope. Sticky bomb has been researched. Never mind. I spoke way too soon. Maybe just got researched. We do got the assault phase complete. 
which will allow him to build out the Stoom Armory. They are using sniper taking fire. Vermox sniper or US sniper does get a kill there. Vermox sniper camouflaging forward. We're losing a sector. A lot of bolts grenadier here, but with this M8 in the area, this grenadier needs to start focusing that uh, Greyhound. Volt's Grenadier is getting hit, that's for sure. Missed again. Fairmox Sniper stealthing on forward. A good AT gun shot from way over here. Sniper! Children, we must move! He does get a nope, he did not get a wipe on that right from squad. Engineers are falling back as well. There's constant reinforcements allow them to stay in that fight for very long. Vermox Sniper or US Sniper falling back. Vermox Sniper trying to sprint on forward, try to rush him down, but he's not going to be successful. Two five ones in pursuit. He will get sticky bomb off. He might get two sticky bombs off. They defended the fatherland until death. Does get suppression there. Very nice. Greyhound charge on in, trying to get the kill there. He pushed too far for 251. Pads of Faust fires, AT gun gets the kill. Two more sticky bombs, that may be a dead half track. Out of control. Oh, is that a second US sniper? That may be a second US sniper. Panshrek got a good hit there on the sniper. So two U.S. snipers have been deployed. Grenade thrown. That was a good grenade. That should be a dead rifleman. No, he withdrew. Or withdrew his fire. They're losing territory. Pay attention. Propaganda war has been unleashed. Propaganda war is now available. So now, let's see. On one side, he can get the V1 and the Firestorm. On the other side, he gets the King Tiger and... What was the last item? The enemy has 300 points. I can't remember what was the last item. Puma, heavy recon deployed. Americans are seizing territory from us. Okay, Volks Grenadiers, we're back in the fight. MG here. Ready for orders. We do have we the two, three, four out. now available. And his opponent, he does not know what auction his opponent's gone for. If he actually saves up to go get a firestorm and perhaps later on the V1, that likely a better option when dealing with the M2s. Okay, that's Greyhound. I just saw a triangle on the map. Thing is that an M2? But nope, that's just a fresh Greyhound. Com system in order. Engine dead. We are crippled. We are in battle. Finds a landmine. Sniper or pioneers. One of them is pioneers pretty close here. by. Greyhound, however, rolling on up. Pack 38. Line up a shot. Pass fast does connect. And the AT gun does a good, a good hit there as well. He has not rotated his, uh, his gun. He's get that 2 3 4 to engage the Greyhound. He will get to keep him off from the 234. And he gets a full kill there. Oof. Good sticky bomb. Your sniper veteran C2 now. All the Vermark items are still Veteran C1, except the vehicle Veteran C. The orders? Advances. Must we die here? Gun the heavy fire! You're dead, bro! On your right, coming up behind you. Hold your fire! Shake this, stick up your head and get a free shake! MG Pro! Both sentries are still alive, not getting inside the building. Got a back line and front line one. The front line one will fall back. The back the back one is been exposed to two squads. Make it wiped here. 
does not get wiped there. Ready for orders. Vox Grenadiers reporting full strength. Was wünschen Sie? What do you want? The Americans are capturing a sector. I thought I heard a mortar, but that probably was just the uh, one of these points making a sound. We're losing territory. Two, three, four, engaging slowly. Incoming gunfire! Both grenadiers hold steady. Do you want us to disengage? Folks, Grandiers are getting a bit wounded, while the Riflemen are getting pretty wounded as well. Both of them have Vector C1. Down south, Pioneers. Ooh! Propaganda War is a bit expensive. And he may have spotted that landmine there. I don't think he waited long enough for that uh, Rifleman to get out of vision. And all depends if his opponent was paying attention. If he wasn't paying attention, then he... Could trip the landmine, but Ooh, there's gonna be a dead pioneer. They defended the fatherland until death. Bars just recently popped. We do got armored skirts and a 50 cal on the squad. The enemy is seizing our territory. Puma, here. Come along. Yeah, out. He does go ahead and force back those folks, Grandier. Pack 38 does get a shot off, but does receive a pretty good shot there. And he's taking the opportunity to encircle that bit of extra speed boost from the road, allow him to close the distance. Plus, he got one of the primary crew members, not the third crew member, so he had to get a guy repositioned on the gun. And does get that gun decrewed. He may take the time to destroy the gun, but it would take a bit of time for the Greyhound. Or. Destroy the carcass? That also works. And he's not in a good position. The Volksgrindir can go up, capture the gun, and get a free shot off. Oh, but a sniper. And I think he tried to go over Panzer Faust as well. The Grenadier will have to recapture the weapon, but the sniper still may be... Nope, the sniper's backing off. He may need to go for 50 millimeter and actually gun the Puma to be a Puma. Pretty sure the when it says 50 millimeter, that's when actually is considered a Puma. Oh, uh, it's just called like a 234 armored car. Good suppression there. Person, I probably would have gone inside of one of these buildings. Grand Deers Eyes on ears, children. Will Fashion not be capturing up the uh, uh, pack gun. We are ready to push back the Yankees. But looks like the Volks Grand Deers will. Yes, sir. Armored car deployed. Americans are seizing territory from us. He has two, two, three, fours. No veteran sea on them either. Speaking of veteran sea on them, three, two, one. Veteran sea gained. You've got a pantry move forward with the MG42. Finds the landmine. Sniper does not get suppressed or pinned by the landmine. Panshrek misses the sniper. Armor car switches way forward and will spot the sniper, but it hasn't fired. Pack 38 did take a pot shot against the sniper. Our opponent has 200 points. The sniper will potentially escape on out of there. Yep. Needs to get an infantry unit to spot it. M180 gun is here. Does get a pen there, and there goes the sniper. It may have got to catch a counter snipe. 
Is it really counter snipe because in their retreating state? And it's probably not a counter snipe. If it counter snipes probably when after it fires and the nearby sniper actually gets the sh uh, fires back and kills it. That's just straight up just shooting him in the back. The Which is still gets him results in dead. That Greyhound is severely wounded. This Puma is also both of these Pumas are severely wounded. Grenade thrown. Trying to get get the kill on that uh, pack gun, the Panzer Shrek. Not on the kill on the pack uh, Panzer Shrek. A, a kill on the pack gun, M1 AT gun. Wow, can't speak today. When can I ever speak? No Panzerfaust just yet. He may be eyeing for this squad to push forward to work Panzerfaust as well. Units being sniped. Next sniper shot should be running on in soon. Right there. And we've got the armor cars engaging. They're both still quite wounded. That's a US landmine. Oh. And that likely is another dead 2 3 4. Nope. But the Greyhound can take it out, if not another sticky bomb. But the Greyhound goes down. Panzerfausts. Maybe a Panzer truck in the area? Nope, Panzerfausts. Sticky bomb being thrown, but no, he's just maintaining maximum range. Or AT gun takes it out. That moment when you realize he's sitting on top of a U.S. landmine. Forward supply the lines are grabbing our territory. So a lot of dead armor cars, both two, three, two, three, fours. Our supply lines are broken. We have territory out of And supply. two mates or mates. I haven't meaning to do that stupid joke, but it was a stupid joke. Two, listen up. We do have the uh, MG42 making its way forward, along with everything else, primarily the sniper. Why did I emphasize the MG42? I'm a bit scatterbrained today. MG42, setting on up, Volksgren, not Volksgrandier, Regal Grandiers are not fully reinforced. He does not have a half track anymore. We're losing a sector. The tickets, ooh, the tickets are heavily in favor towards the Wehrmacht player. He has a little over 400, while his opponent went down to 143. That is a 200, let's see right now, 263 advantage. King Tiger, now available. That's a heavy asset. He, another propaganda war. In my opinion, he's... Using that play a bit too aggressive, but does allow him to engage and win the f uh oh fresh sniper. King Tiger can be deployed right now. No veteran C, no more research. Vet 2 engineer getting some good damage in, but he will need to fall back a little too soon. He's actually prone to being wiped at this moment. Pioneer charge on forward. He was honestly. I'm not sure how big how big of this threat was of a force. Thy objective is to Sarah. Fresh Greyhound. There's only one AT gun that's not enough. Uh, no, there's two AT guns. And King Tiger has them to war out. With a King Tiger, that will be able to provide some great presence in the center of the field. And he knows about the propaganda wars, so he knows what doctrine he's gone for. But, he's seen the off-map power to shoot once, but only once. Which, he, if, he, if he remembers, his opponent has gone for infantry doctrine. But it's been so long, he could potentially forget. Good hits there. Pack 38 engaging but getting hit by these units. 
and it severely wounded, Mango destroyed. It does get the damage engine on the King Tiger. Pack 20 does get the de recruit, de crewed. Armor card severely wounded as well. Good hits there. Ooh, he does decrease the MG42. The sniper could get hit. Riflemen still in the area, but they're severely wounded. These grenadiers are quite wounded themselves. Riflemen, that two riflemen there. Those are frag, but completely misses. And we do have a forward HQ by the US player, which could be very, very useful for these AT guns to engage that King Tiger. King Tiger stores his damage engine. No forward reinforcement fear here. The enemy advances. At this point, they need cash. Both sides need a casualty recovery station. Com system in order. King Tiger receiving quite a bit of beating. This southern point has been captured. Pioneers repairing up the 234. We are losing ground. Vet 2 riflemen pushing the way forward. I'm not sure where that sniper got hit. Maybe it was the AT gun. There is a... Was that drop bar? Yep, a drop bar there. The Grenadiers could pick that up. Does re pick up the bar, very nice, and capture the central sector. There will be, soon be a triple capture in favor of the US player. Remember, he still has a southern point. Being decaptured by Volksgrindeers now. Inspired assault has been selected. Oh, yeah, it goes Zeal, Propaganda War, then King Tiger. Inspired assault. Firestorm V1. Volts Grenadiers have seized objective. No enemy in sight. Some reason I always think the zeal and propaganda war Americans are, capturing a are on the same line. Oh, got the wipe there on the MG42. Pack 38 is not being captured, but I think because of Bearmock sniper says I'm not ready to no. engage. Com system in order. But no, that was actually off map howitzer shoot, not on map howitzer. So the King Tiger is severely wounded. He needs, he does have a second pioneer squad. He needs to repair that up now. It take, will take a significant amount of time to get that repaired. Mine did get swept. Thirty cows in the Is that off map the combat group? Man. No, he actually outright built that thirty cow. The model, interesting. 
And he's also has five command points. He has we can now he may not even a firestorm have... on our enemy. Ooh, here comes a firestorm. That could be very useful against the church. That we'll see he's bombing this sector here. But he actually built a 30 cal, which is doing some good work there. Maybe a mortar maybe a little bit better. But here comes a firestorm. More rounds are gonna be raining on in. Stop embarrassing yourselves! And does the crew both of these support weapons? It, that's a lot of fire and retreat path. The engineers make it burned up a bit. No model drops. Over here, we got riflemen captured from the VP. Are capturing a sector. Up north, the Greyhound finally got mostly re repaired. And that King Tiger is still far from repaired. We have 300 points left. Good frag there, thrown by the Get Grenadiers. MG42 severely wounded. Rifleman, full force back those pioneers. He needs these for pioneers repairing up the King Tiger. Does get some suppression there. Pack 38 has been recaptured or captured. This AT gun is severely wounded. Looks like. And now the riflemen are falling. The snipers falling back. Riflemen charging forwards. A vet two riflemen. You may see a sticky bomb there. King Tiger may get shot off. That King Tiger could potentially kill his own uh, two three four. It's a destroyed engine, but the AT gun is now raining on in. And we got off map house shoot coming on in as well. Ooh, good hit there. Firestorm now running on in as well. He's recaptured the MG42. Good hit there on the pack 38. Does not get the D crew on the MG42. Or the 30 cal. Rifleman going around capturing up some points. He could use a Nebel Warfare. He has a Storm Armory, so he's able to pull out Nebel Warfers. The enemy is seizing our territory. Hear me out. What do you think about Nebel Warfers at this point? I don't know why, but that seems like a good item. And he does get that MG42 decrewed. We haven't seen any M2s as well. Maybe this tournament has some sort of uh, no artillery rule. Volks Grandiers and Grandiers engaging. This one can use some medical crates. MG42 has been reclaimed. He does not lose the entire squad. Never Warfer now firing, so never mind. He can deploy. It's not against the rules for uh, deploying Never Warfers. And here comes a Nebel Warfare Barrage. Direct hit, getting a wipe on that squad. Off map house shoot, shoots now raining on in. The sniper could potentially get splashed. He needs to repair the King Tiger. Uh, maybe he's just not wanting to repair the King Tiger because it's just going to be just, just, it's just meant for a giant meat sponge. We have 200 points. Not a whole lot of veterans see either. Fire! 
Grandier still severely wounded. He seems also stacked up, but I don't think there's anything to really splash him down. The wounded Grandier has dropped the model. Nev Warfare raining on in somewhere. So just the one Nev Warfare as well. He's at Pop Cap. I can't push the southern flank because of this Greyhound. He can perhaps try to push it with this uh, Panda Shrek, but it seems like it keeps on missing the Greyhound. Veterans of Gang, so vet 2 infantry. Good hit there. This pack 38 is severely wounded, almost destroyed. Captured 30 cal, engaging the riflemen. And the 234 is severely wounded. More off map power to shoot. Main gun destroyed. And direct hit there on the 30 cal. 30 cal may get destroyed. Tiger tank advancing, still severely wounded. I think the 30 cal fully got destroyed. Down south, we do have a Pantrick squad. No observation posts Attention. over here. Not one there. Yeah, this one is there. Vet the three the squads. Yeah, because Nev Warfare, I think, will be raining on right around there. Yes. Maybe? I have no idea what's raining on in. Nebel Warfare's scatter is so absurd, it Attention. almost got this guy. The enemy advances. Oh. He hit the tiger tank and not the sniper. You can't pilot snipe in this game. You're not a Natasha. Does get a snipe there. Counter snipe? Nope, he wasn't on quick enough on the draw. At this point, I really wish I could have where there was a uh, casualty recovery bunker around here because this has been seem like a lot of down casualties, and the US player could use some more squads. I don't think the Wehrmacht player could have got any any three grenadiers because he hasn't been keeping control of this into the field while the US player has. Sniper does fire, getting good hit there on something. Those two snipers have been deployed. Never worth for raining on another barrage. King Tiger has received some repairs. They have lost a unit. Ooh, lost a unit. Looks like he lost a uh veterans he gained. Something. Not sure what he lost. Oh no, he lost a sniper. He lost I see only one sniper squad left. So one of the snipers got counter sniped. Good hits there on the King Tiger. That look at on map howitzer. So now there's an on map howitzer. The sniper is heading down south. I think he may have tried. And I think he lost an engineer as well. There could have been a repair bunker in here. He may have repair in bunker somewhere, but I don't see it. See one. But I think that sniper. Nope, he's not going to where the M2 is. If I was a sniper, I perhaps would have sent him down to the base in order to uh, call an artillery strike. He has enough munitions for a V1. Coming. 
Victory reserve stand at 100 points and dropping. Oh, here comes a V1. It may be on this church or in the general area around the church. I'm not sure what's going to be landing exactly. Oh, up north. I'm not sure if you got any wipes or anything like that. Grenadiers, folks, Grenadiers are falling back, including the sniper. This Grenadier squad is still here. A lot of wounded riflemen. Throwing out a frag. Not really a great frag. Losing a sector. On map, Hauser raining on in. He does have the King Tiger more healed this time. The Greyhound went down, so maybe the Greyhound got killed by the V1. Never worth for getting some good hits there, suppressing the rifleman. He does still have the AT gun, but the AT gun's severely wounded. The King Tiger could push forward and take out that AT gun. It just needs one good hit. In fact, its health is so low, I think even the 234 can get the kill. The tickets are in favor of the US player by a small margin now. Eight tickets. We are losing no, ground. 12, 13. Heavy recon deployed. We are receiving fire! Grenadier is taking hit! The army can stop their message. The Americans are capturing a sector. Bands, stand by for target. Taking the refugees for your support. Ready for orders. Looks like, uh, I think it's, that may be off, that is off map artillery. Trying to stop the capture. He's retaining a double capture, which is actually pretty good. Nebworfer raining a barrage, has 12 kills in comparison, like, say, the M2, which only has four. Good hits there. Kisses. Getting some good damage on even the reinforcing models. Severely wounded, which does help out. And honestly, in the fact that he's getting models, these squads wounded, can be just as good as taking out models entirely, because when his units are pushing up, he's able to quickly gain the favor of battle. Volksranger are falling back to a US sniper. Decaptured central, deca uh, decaptured the central VP, very nice. Trying to hit that AT gun. He's repairing the AT gun. He's repaired it quite a significant amount. Veramox sniper facing the wrong direction. Does get the decrew on the AT gun. King Tiger is quite wounded. He's repairing up the 234. He has two 234s. He needs more light vehicle vacancy, honestly. As long as he keep him using, take wiping out these uh, AT guns with his uh, off maps, he's able. These two, three, fours can do some significant amount of work. Plus the King Tiger. Grenade thrown. Never for barrage running on in. There's still a very U.S. sniper deployed. Did that U.S. sniper just get destroyed by the Nebelwerfer? Yes, U.S. sniper went down to the Nebelwerfer. And he may and not he even realize it, because since he's at max out command points, he doesn't see the plus ones. So the U.S. sniper is down, and the U.S. player and the Wehrmacht player may not even notice it. Getting some good hits there on the King Tiger, and it looks like uh, the U.S. player is casting GG. He has probably a good number then, but they ran got rich to a high amount of spam, so now the US player has backed out of the game. Hmm. What could he have done differently that game? Maybe less Greyhounds. Maybe more Shermans and M10s. He played the game pretty well. 
maybe sent more infantry units around the flank. He threw a lot of manpower to this uh, central church after he captured up. Perhaps maybe as well some uh, medic stations to uh, receive, receive some uh, casualties. Getting at least one there, he held the center of the map for quite some time, so putting one here could have net him some free squads. That could have been useful. While his opponent hadn't really hold and push the center until later on in the game, so he couldn't really make use of a casualty recovery station, but a medic station could have been quite useful. Hmm. Either way, this is A. John saying thank you for watching and signing off.